Hello, my name is DB, and the place to be always coming faithfully straight down the middle. Welcome to All Things Brass and Technology. And today I'm going to be reviewing this mouthpiece, which is the Monet Tradition Plus. Yes, I got a request. You know, cats hit me up all the time and, you know, they say, Hey, D, could you check this out for us? Could you review this? Could you do that? Could you do that? Da, 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 da. And I try to do as much as I can for the community. So this was a request and here it comes. So let's get it. All right, let's get into this. Oh, this is a unity. Wrong mouthpiece. <laughs> this is the Tradition Plus. Yes. All right, now we're ready. Yo, let's do this. So check it out. First of all, thank you guys so much for your support. And please subscribe. If you like what I bring to this channel and to the community, please take a second to subscribe because I know I see the analytics. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people come and they're not subscribing. It may be because I'm not worthy, but I do my best. So please, subscribe. It really helps the channel. And for today's presentation, I will be using the tradition. Plus, because that's what the whole video was about. And the horn I'll be using is this. This is the uh, Lotus Solo Max. You guys, hey man, Darren, for these last videos, you're always using the Solo Max because I like it. And that's the way it is. You dig? This is a Solo Max. Let me take you through this wonderful trumpet. We have a copper bell. We have a bronze flare. The valve block is uh, this nickel here, silver nickel, then bronze at the bottom. We have a bronze receiver and a nickel silver lead pipe, brass tuning. This horn is incredible. It is incredible. And as I always say, I'm a Shelky artist and I play an X3. It's my favorite horn. And I also love the H, uh, the Handcraft too. That's an incredible horn. Shelky, love you. After Shelky, Lotus got it. I tell you, you need to go check these guys out, man. They're making amazing horns. They're in tune. They're easy to play. They're warm. They're whatever you want it to be, man. They're for the working person and the creative musician. Lotus. And they make amazing mouthpieces. And I will be doing reviews on their mouthpieces because I love them too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is good stuff, man. You yeah, dig? Let's get to this Tradition Plus. Here we go. As every review that I do, I want to get into the mindset of the dev, the developer, or the creator of the product. See where they're coming from, right? So I always go to the website and bring you the information right from the horse's mouth. So this information that I'm bringing you is from the Monet website, and I'm going to recite it to you. And uh, we'll just talk about it. So here we go. All right. These mouthpieces are visually very similar to most traditional mouthpieces that have been used and accepted for the last century. Yes, they look identical to Bach. They're shorter, but yes, Bach. And I love Bach. Oh, man. Yes. All right. 
people who simply prefer a classic appearance will love the visual appeal of these new tradition plus mouthpieces. Okay. Of course, the most important part of any mouthpiece is how it plays. I agree. Compared to visually similar conventional mouthpieces, the new Tradition Plus mouthpieces play with the following characteristics. This is the part where we get down. I love this part. Because this is where the ego comes. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's nothing wrong with ego. As long as you don't use it against people. I don't know if that makes sense to you, to you guys about that. There's nothing wrong with ego. Because ego, to me, is strength. As long as you use ego in the right way. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, this is what they say. Extremely easy in the upper register. Now listen to this. The difference is obvious in the first notes played. <laughs> you dig? More than said, put that tradition plus in and play a few notes and you're just like, dun 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 dun, <laughs> you dig? Hey man, gotta love these cats, man. More consistent and in tune in all registers. Improved clarity in sound and articulation in all registers and at all dynamics. Faster and more secure response in all registers. Okay. Now it says additional characteristics. Let's get it. Let's see what they got to say. Very easy to acclimate to, even if you've never played a Monet mouthpiece before. Okay. The best option for players who want to use one mouthpiece for B flat and C trumpet. Mm, that's nice. Easy to hear up close. The conventional weight and shape of the mouthpiece produces a sound placement that is similar to what players of conventional mouthpieces are used to. Okay. They work great in section, in sections with lightweight equipment. Okay. Proven state of the art Monet rim and cup design. Yes. All right. So that's straight from the horse's mouth. That's what Monet is saying. You will get when you buy this $205 piece. All right. Uh, let's talk about sizes. The Tradition Plus is made in three sizes, okay? Let me see what's going on here. Okay, size two. Comparable to a conventional one and a quarter, okay? Size three, comparable to a one and a half C. And size six, comparable to a conventional three C. Okay? All that making sense to everybody? I'm, I'm saying it again. I'm saying it again. Size 2, I'll give you a little more information. Size 2 is comparable to a conventional one and a quarter C. And highly recommended for one and a half C players who would prefer a slightly larger mouthpiece if it was easier to play. Okay, that's what he says. Size 3 is comparable to a conventional one and a half C. And size 6 is comparable to a conventional 3C and highly recommended for 5C and 7C players too. That's it. So they're available in three sizes. All right, let me see if there's anything else. I think that's it. Yeah, if you're looking for uh, different size or cup depths or aren't sure what will work best, contact them. All right, so there you have it. Let's keep it moving. All right, so I took my hard-earned money and I bought a size two, which is comparable to a one and a quarter. And I got it. I put it on my horn. I played those first few notes and what was obvious to me that I was in hell with this mouthpiece. I hated it. 
It's terrible. Love and respect. I'm just telling you how I feel. It was the worst. I didn't even know what was going on. I put it on me. I always put the blame on me first. When I put my bark up there, it was the D that I, I know and love, you know? I put that tradition plus size two and boo-hoo. Mm -mm. No work for me. No, it was horrible. You know, so that was it. Now, for somebody else, it may be perfect. But for me, it was terrible. But I still, Monet has a reputation, man. So, you know, I say, you know what? I, as I said, I could play a one and a quarter C all day. Or my main mouthpiece now is a Bach 8B. I went smaller. Seven, eight, I could play all day. One and a quarter, I could still play all day, but I like the smaller mouthpieces now. But man, when I was at New England Conservatory in Boston, my teacher, Charlie Schluter, I got a, a Monet B2, the old B2s, the big, you know, early days. And that mouthpiece, I couldn't even put a price on it. That mouthpiece is un unbelievable. And if I was playing those smaller mouthpieces, that's what I'd be playing. That thing is incredible, you know. But uh, so that's why I took a chance at size two and it didn't work. But it, once again, I believe uh, in what Mr. Monet, the Monet company, you know, what their capabilities are. So I said, you know what? Let me try a size six, which is like a 3C and recommended for 5C, 7C. So I bought that. That was the one. Killing. This size six tradition plus is bananas. Unbelievable. I was shocked. How could these mouthpieces just be night and day? But it was. I put this bad boy on him. Boom! I was like, what? It was like what he said. The first couple of those were obvious. It was true. And I was like, what? It's a great mouthpiece. One of my favorites. All right? So let's get to some playing examples. Low register. <laughs> register articulation this is my favorite moment it is time for romance This was a fun video to make. This video was on the Monet Tradition Plus mouthpiece. And I play size number six. This one works for me, it's fantastic. Check it out, see if you like it. I love it. As always,
Thank you for being here with me on All Things Brass and Technology. My name is DB. And if you like the content that I bring to this channel, please subscribe. It really helps. And I got a lot of things coming. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, as always. See you soon.